Okay, and we now welcome in the English team, English Open team. And the riders are Sadie, Katie, Eddie, Rory, and Ellie Reserve is great. And they are being trained by Pete. Welcome to the English team. Okay, where we go. So this is the first race of heat two in the open at Mill Street. Uh, lane one we've got Denmark, lane two, Scotland, lane three, Wales, lane four is England. That's the lane order. And it's Wales and England in the lead at the moment. Denmark going really quickly. And they've got a fast handover. We go Scotland as well, that is close between lanes three and four, England and Wales at the moment, not in the spin, but then they're still trying to catch up. They're not far behind, great handovers for the half man riders. Out, back it goes for Denmark, for Scotland in third in the boat. England, Wales, Wales and England, rounds up. So we've got a turn for Wales, and they're going to get the first win. Five points for them. Okay, right, so we're going to restart that one. Okay, so, up we go. And good start for England on the near side. Wales up there as well, these two teams. And the handover is outstanding for both of those. Scotland coming down. There they go. But it's neck and neck. Or is the French say elbow to elbow? Away they go. England, slightly in the lead. Wales next. Here comes Scotland. Hand over for Denmark is good. So, half man riders. In it goes. For England. Away goes Wales. Denmark got a great ball. Scotland coming back down. Last thing for England. Put it in the pocket. They win this one. Five points for them. We like So, away we go. So, first bricks are on. Nicely done. Everybody, turn back down. So, on it goes. Wales got a good put on. So does England and Denmark. And Scotland, we're all on the money. Round we go at the top. These two teams are going to be neck and neck. Hold of this heat, I reckon. On it goes. And we've got a great there, so Wales get a good lead. And the moment, Denmark chasing hard. Lovely put on for Scotland. Away they go. Wales leading at the moment. Denmark, oh, it just accidentally kicked that one off. So Scotland out there. England trying to catch up. Hatman is out. It's a Welsh Hatman. Beautiful put on from the English rider there. So, Scotland and England fighting it out for second place. Wales put it on. They're going to go to five points. Battling it out. Scotland and Scotland. What a brilliant put on for Scotland. That's amazing. Very happy trainer as well. Denmark got a good put on. England, finish. Away we go, racing up for these Tartans. So, Denmark got a good put in. So does England. Wales are there as well. Here comes Scotland in. Lane one. Where the next one is there? Right in there, run. Nice one. So, round the top. Here it goes. England, slight lead at the moment. Denmark and Wales. Half neck and neck. Two and two. Here we go. England driving, Wales are there, Scotland. We get the final one. So, England has a 20 metre lead at the moment. Half that night is around. Denmark and Wales trying to catch up. There we go. Quickly here comes Scotland in lane one, round the top of the game. Denmark, Wales. England with it. Denmark coming over to second place. 
Okay, is this a time? Oh, great pick up from Lane. Two and four, Wells and Indian handovers are outstanding. For Wells, in the great pick goes up, he can't send my face. Put it, stop it. Really good. Ah, uh, but the handover is this. Ah, uh, where they go? So, it is England get a good pick up. Wales having problems getting down this and hit the bit. Uh, so where he goes in is Scotland with that lovely pick up for Scotland. Down they come racing it in. Brilliant Friday from Scotland. And here comes Denmark. Going to be a half hand rider coming out. Away goes Denmark chasing England's half hand rider. So Denmark and England. England get a great pick up. And it goes in the bit, they're going to get this one. Okay, have a start. There we go, it's going to be bottles, nice put on for Wales, England, Denmark, Scotland. Going back down, neck and neck, here they come, great first leg down for England and Wales, and then hand over to the three So Wales. In the lead at the moment, Denmark got a good put on for their second rider. Down they go. So it's just Wales out of the lead at the moment. Uh, here comes Denmark. Handover is really good for them. Scotland now back in the game. Wales going round. Here comes England. At band. Well, Pat Band is out. Scott has got a great handover. Davis Pat Band is out. So, away we go. Well, coming back down to finish the race. Denmark at the top as well. Scotland get a Pat Band out as well. Well, last rider. Denmark. Second, Grant Pratt. Then on it goes for England on the near side. Scotland finish it off with a flourish. I'll be riding, last rider. And England finish the bottom exchange. Okay. Two flags coming back there. Wales, England, that's one and two. And away they go. They're pretty much neck and neck. Scotland got a good handover. So, last rider coming back there. England slightly in the lead. Here come Wales. And um, it's England that is now standing pretty much take for them. Okay. So, three teams in the Windsor Castle. Gonna put that ball on the turret. England got a great put up, so did Wales. Then after there as well. So Wales in the lead, Denmark second, England third at the moment. And Scotland are there. Last thing to do for Wales, get their five points. It's going to be nicely. England. Nicely put on. So, Scotland. We never break everybody. So, he's much. Oh, there's one down already. So, lots of toys for the Scottish rider. Encouraging those turns. And that seems to be working really well. Scotland in the lead at the moment, Wales and Denmark, next and next. England trying to catch up, he's one month behind. So, Scotland, not there. Denmark struggling to get it onto that pole. Wales catching up, so is England. 
Scotland looking good at the moment. On he goes. Their third board is coming out now. Well done, Kinglet turning around. Here comes Denmark. Away there he goes. There he goes, Wales. There he goes, England. Scotland maintaining their progress. Denmark, good put on for them. Here comes Wales. With England looking good. They're turning together, together, together. Hats on Ryder. Who's it going to be? Scotland made just a little clean slip. It's Wales, England, Scotland, Denmark, four teams over their handbags, all two teams in the lead, two teams in their connect behind them. England just sitting ahead of the moment, it's going to go down to the wire this one. England just stretching out their lead. Wales and Mr. here comes England. England's got a valuable ball. My brother, Denmark, another good. Okay, last race of the second heat of Open. A lovely pickup from England. Well, it's got a long ball deep. Here comes Denmark for their handover, which is excellent. Scotland coming down now. So, England slight lead at the moment. How's the handovers? England go away. Wales go away. On the coast. This for England, so Wales get a lead at the moment. Denmark up there, Scotland coming down, hand over for Denmark is good. Away goes Scotland, first hat down rider is out. Scotland got a fantastic put on of their hoop bar. Down comes England, nice hand over for them. Wales picking up their last hoop bar, England up the top. They're going to go for a snatch. They do. So, well for that. We have a loose pony. Uh, Rodders, keep your eyes open for that one on the back line. Uh, England, watch out. Scotland, we've got a loose pony. Uh, England coming over to finish two clock. Now away from England on the ground for France. They go left handed turn, pick up incredible to see that one as they head to the top of the field. Italy coming back down now for their collection, and it's rider number three away for Italy. They're going to be followed very close by rider number four for England, but not quite at the moment because that's what has gone to ground. France get away in third, rider three away for England, and we have a hat band now on the line for Italy. It's Italy hat band. Huge lead for Italy as they head to the top. They're going to be chased down now by France and England, but they're quite a distance back. France have dropped in at least second place now for Sweden. So I was going to say, but Italy come down with an absolutely easy win on that one. Italy taking the win, Sweden on the ground. So to our France, the left-handed handover as they head to the top of the field. On the way down now, we have a hand rider for England, and he looking back to the left of England. Coming in the second, going away, going to take the lead with Italy on the far side, but Italy turns to the right there, going back. It's Italy in the lead now, and Sweden let it on the ground. It's England from France as they come down for handover number three, and away goes rider number three for England. France on the far side, it's all going to be down to the last two riders as we take the changeovers, but Italy take a screamer on the far side. Italy, I think the partner is rider number two, but Italy. And it looks like a fairly level break going well, into one of them for the keep the foot. A once more in the form of the call and it's a good change for Kelly and she thinks she is powered by a Italian spot and they're also in the next front, they're working hard to catch up. But at the minute it seems like a comfortable few legs for Kelly Top. Good change over from Greg, but Italy are not far behind, so if anybody's in, it looks like Italy have caught up a bit. France is still going well, correct from their mistake. But at the minute it looks 
definitely like it is grey coming out for England. And it's a good change over for Rory. So we have two half hands out here. We have problems for Scotland. It's let Sweden take up the Let's go! But it looks definitely like Rory has taken it on the turn from Italy. So it's Rory comes in to take this from and it was a tricky start for France, but it seems to and it's a good put on for just about everybody, but it seems to be France there making good use of this start. So it's France being chased by Italy. But we have England and Sweden chasing them hard, but it's still France, it's France from Italy. But Scotland can go there to put in their first number, but it is definitely France. But Italy seems to have caught up in the ball, so it is the team of Italia coming in there, but it's in there for the third round ahead of France on England. But it is definitely Italy with a problem for Scotland in lane three. With Sweden on the far side there, Italy taking over, but it is definitely Italy. They send out their half on now. So it's Italy from England. We have France coming out next. So will Ellie pick up the pace here and we'll see you overtake Italy? But we have problems for Italy oh, on this left in, and it's right. a good vote for Italy. So it's Italy. Whoa! 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 Italy, and we will take it over the line. I Seven yeah. 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 the have some disadvantage, they can set back and will affect them. No, they off fairly well, so it seems to be on the turn. It seems to be England out with a fairly commanding lead to the front of our hunting men down. Rory go out with the of Italy, France and Sweden making up good ground too. We have problems for Scotland with the handover. And also problems for England, so it looks like it's going to be France and Italy very closely by Sweden. And it looks like Italy seems to have taken it on the handover because we have problems for France now too, so it is Italy out with commanding lead. England seems to be pulling it back, still problems for France, but it's a good lead. Go! Which left them into the frame again, so it is Italy, and Sweden seems to be out of this stage. We can have a half band out as do Italy. Greg is working hard and coming into Eddie. Will he pick up the pace now? But it seems to be Italy. Cruising home, but Sweden might just catch it. We have shouts from the Italian trader. But I think he was sitting up there. But we have France on with the two turn ball. But he's been chased very, very hard on keep by Scotland to take a final point. It's a good start for England and France. And we have problems for England, so it seems to be France and Italy being chased by Scotland. I think France have it on the turn, but Italy seem to be cruising home. So it is Italy from France, and a superb changeover from Italy, which leaves France a few legs behind. No problems for Katie in lane one for England, which lets Vicky in. And Sweden still going there, they haven't seen the have problem yet. That'll do. Seems to be another good start, but will Katie get this one on? And she has another problem which lets in Italy and France again, but it seems to be you are rubbish. Up on the turn as opposed to Italy, but it's Italy and France neck and neck. Will Italy get another fantastic changeover for Italy and France? So it is neck and neck. Katie has repaired and she is coming home from England in lane one. And it seems to be Italy with a slightly better first week going well in lane two with problems for Scotland. I think we have problems for Jamie and Vicky is in the far lane, but Vicky is off, which seems to be the Italy now are have a bit of a lead on front, but it is absolutely nothing between them. Ellie comes out now in lane one with a superb put on in lane one by Ellie. But we have problems for France, which we have all the time in the world here, but will they use and it seems to be Kelly has come home here and a superb hand over to Eddie. Let's him come up in lane one. We have Italy in to complete. With Whoa. Eddie being chased down by France. But it is a great lift for Eddie in lane one. It is a good level breath for Anne Patrick. And it seems to be Italy, England and Scotland out. But we have problems for Sweden in lane three. So it is Italy off first but then being chased by Ellie. But we have problems for Ellie in lane two which lets Mickey chase Italy. And it seems to be we out. Went turning first, but we have problems for Italy and for Scotland. He worked out. Italy have corrected first, but this will let Ellie and France chase. So still problems oh. for 
teams here, but it seems to be Italy coming home first. Being chased home by France, England and Scotland neck and neck. The France has been let in here, but it is England and Scotland are really neck and neck at this point. So it is Italy coming in for their next well, winner. Tried. A great ball from France. Greg turns back from England now, and Scotland going well. And Lady Wanley has swing the name three, also coming home to hand over now to their next rider. But it still seems to be Italy out with man in this race. Followed in by France and Greg from England. And it is still Italy playing this race absolutely superb. Their Sweden are turning again back up the pitch, but we have problems for France, which might let in England now. Are you working it? Eddie chasing home Italy. It is Italy and England. With Let's go! Italy picking up the pace here, they're catching up points. But it is still Italy and England. We have France seem to have corrected, and Scotland are going well in they one. This is a really long game. On the first hand out, half hand out, but they're being chased now by Rory Cable for England. But it's off the ball. And we have problems for Rory, he's double turning, so this is Italy a bit of time, and it is Italy cruise home to take the win in this race. Rory coming in to take second for England. And it is a great start for Canadian Lane 3, which is chased by. France and Italy, but it seems to be Katie on the turn, and it's a great So it is England from France, Sweden and Italy, with Scotland slightly behind, but it is England out with a good lead in this one. It is Greg, England, will be turning first, but we have problems for France in the far lane. So it is England being chased now by Italy, England and Italy, and it's a great changeover for both, perhaps a slight better changeover for Italy, which lets it Italy now, they're both turning neck on neck. So it is everybody's game now, it is England, Italy, nothing to call between England and Scotland now, hands it over, there are problems for but it is England, we seem to have problems again for Italy, Italy are just moving, so this left in Italy for England to take it, comfortably, for the 4-5 race, and it was a good level play, everyone nothing to call between any of them, so it will be on the turn, and it seems to be Mickey the Foss, we turn first, but it's still nothing to call. It's going to be on the first to me. Wow, dude. Uh, right. It looks like it's England and France. England and France, but Italy. Sweden and Scotland are all chasing them down. So it's England and France, Italy. Sweden on the far side, and Scotland coming up through the middle. But we have problems for Italian in lane two. So it is Rory and Oh, oh, no. 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 Scotland off correcting too, so it is England out on their own in this race. 
Bulldogs seem to be opening this lead now as they have a tight turn on that pole heading for the top. Lovely lean in and over shift slightly, that was the reason for the lean in, and Ireland still in the lead. Our driver went to Ireland. Then we have third away for England and for Denmark from the far side and Sweden now. What are you going to make good in this one? Now for England and for Denmark on the far side and the winners want to come from one of these three as they keep pumping away. Have a mug in advantage as they head to the top. It's Ireland with the mug on and they're heading for home but the front is on the far side. Ireland put up to home, who's going to take the second? And it is absolutely beautiful put on by England and then Denmark. Let's see who's going to make this one up. It's England coming back for their final put in. And they are absolute mile. And it's who's back. All these offers, two of them, England, from the Pony, Ireland, from the Pony, and I think some of these two. Thank you. 
Okay, away we go. Three teams in at the moment. So, turning together. And Jordan on the way back down. Six. In with a player. In with an arm. There goes the front.
continuing to Adabi in lane one. Coming in in lane two. The current race.
first onto the ground is the Irish rider on the right hand and pink and away we go for home. On the run down for home it's being led out by Wales on the far side. He's really next door to them but the ball on the chain goes into the stage and those five get away. Good corner and are trained slightly at the stage. It's Wales in the lead at the top. Wales get the pick in first place. Then they're followed by England and Ireland back into the fray at this stage. On the far side we're on rise number three of four and away they go England take the lead from Ireland and Wales. England still in the lead, but Ireland on the ground with them at the top, and they're going to pick just in good time. A little slip of both riders get away. The Irish rider, rider stops her on the ground as we come down 40, five straight over. Ireland can get it away and push it over the top of the wheel. It's the third place in the car side. On the ground at the top. Left hand and pick in the mouth, and away we go at the top. And coming back down, it is Ireland coming for the body, and Ireland take the first of the wins in the establishment. Ireland's part of the Ireland's from the Down for France and North Ireland would not turn low because all they have to do is flick it up and go back to the three. Big change over coming here in the big round. And for England and Wales, not letting them away in lane one. In lane one. It's on the ground for Italy on the far side as they come back around and correct for the target, leading out of the street right of the way for Ireland. Three away for England and for Wales in lane one. It's a difficulty for France and away they go. With rider number two, but coming back down now, and it's going to be a hat band at this stage. It's Ireland hat band away in the middle. Following that is England in second place, and Wales not going to let anyone away at this stage. It's on the ground for Northern Ireland, but at the interest end of this, it's Ireland coming down for the big guard of state lead. And it's going to be another point back for Ireland. It's going to be a good position. And away we go for the home players is the right to take and the 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 way back down now to the men in pose for the connection on the way up the and we're heading back up now with the and Ireland together on the far side it'll be doing well here on this side of Wales, France and then Northern Ireland have connected but it's going to be in the race home as they leave the top it's Ireland leading it out now from East France has gone back so on this side it's going to be competitive Ireland on the far side is taking it from the city Sit, Kate. Sit. Sit, Kate. Sit. Good girl. 
Come on. Come on, bro. Sit there, sit there, sit there. Easy, easy, nice, easy. Yes, come on. Come on, Ellie, now then, Ellie. Just stay, stay, just stay. Easy now, El. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Yes, come on. Yes! <laughs> they were going to put me in it if we were going to be behind and we were going to They were going to put me in it, but it's so hard to the best to see that as it is. Just getting me right, you know what I mean? It's all you got to do. Sit there. Yeah. All the quicker one around the back, so they're going to say they want to play head Okay, just sit there, just stay there. Stay where you are. Don't even try and get the second. Stay where you are. Yeah, got a pole, see? we just got to sit. Sit in there. They're going to muck up. Easy. Easy, easy. Come on, Ruth. Just sit. Just sit, Ruth. Oh. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just get hungry. Get hungry. Go right on the boat. Fantastic score of 119 and a half, that half point shared with Wales all these whiles ago. Our champions of Europe 2019, it is the team from England! They've had some ups and downs all weeks, ponies in, ponies out, riders still in one piece now. Trained by the gorgeous Pete, he's been in there, the flag's flying. Well done, Katie, Ellie, Sadie, Rory. <laughs> Sorry, a little Irish fly down my throat there. <laughs> so look at the, now they're getting their gold medals. Soup plate sized rosettes. They've got wonderful rugs. I 
don't know whether the souvenir mugs have been given out yet. Eddie, you're looking a little bit sweaty here. What a week for Greg here. He's, he's the bronze medalist in the Open Individual last night. Here he is, standing on the podium with a gold medal around his neck for the team. Really, really well deserved. They've worked so hard. Here come the mugs. So there we have it. Thank you very much. Pop those hats back on. We'll do our final lap of honour in this superb arena. We'll just wait for Pluto to finish his wee, to be fair to him. <laughs> Stand back out of the wind, Pete. You'll get caught. <laughs> okay, so stick nicely together. Our winners. Take it away, England. The Republic of Ireland. Superb competition for the bronze medal. Italia. Well done, Wales. Peter Gall, you made it a great competition. Well done, Northern Ireland. Those flags look mighty fine. And congratulations, CCM Plus. La France. It's just like that. Competition. It's been fabulous. Thank you so much, the Republic. The England team are going to join the French rider as they come down. Well done, our winners from England. Thank you, Team Ireland, for a fabulous week. Absolutely brilliant. Well done all the riders, well done our fabulous ponies, thank you to ERS for their medical support, thank you all the unseen, unsung heroes who baked and cooked and cleaned and just generally helped this event run. So, putting together for the English team and their trainer Pete Sanders as they make their way to the top. So Pete, I'm going to give the microphone to yourself. You're never short of a few words. What does it feel like to be the Bunny Champions of Europe? It's amazing. Thanks so much to everyone. Thanks to Ireland. This has been an amazing competition. All of the O'Connors, Ted Creed, all of you guys have been amazing. We've had a great time. Thanks a million, Pete, and congratulations. 12 months title. You're the European champions. No one's going to take it off you for at least 12 months. Well done. No, we're not going to take it up for 12 months anyway. All right, I'm going to introduce you just for a few moments. It's Marilyn Hackerman, the president of